Hi, uh, welcome to Everything Embedded. I hope you had a good week. So yes, here I am on a Friday evening. It's around 10.30 p.m. in Reading. So I just spent a couple of, uh, I think about a day or two. I was thinking about some old games which I used to play while in my college days. So especially there was this game called as Prince of Persia, uh, which was based on MS, uh, which was in MS DOS basically. So I'm sure many must uh, have at uh, many of you would have heard about this game or at least have played played this game. It's uh, set in the dungeons, as you can see on the Wikipedia article. It's still a it's it's a very good game really. It's in very intelligently written and uh, at that time. It had fantastic graphics and uh, this game actually prompted, uh, prompted me that I need to buy a computer. So this was the first time whereas I wanted to buy a, a computer just to play this game. Well, I could not buy a PC back then and uh, I had to wait for a couple of more years. But then yeah, when I mean, games can be very persuasive. So yeah, so in the well, the topic of uh, this video is not... Uh, this uh, this sort of dungeon game. Maybe in the future videos, I will try to write one really. That would be a very interesting project for me. But to keep things simpler, I want to talk about snakes and ladders. So here I am on the Wikipedia article of snakes and ladders. Well, it says the game originated in ancient India and it's a board game and was brought to the United Kingdom in the 1890s. Well, it's interesting history really. Well, I mean, rather than all the theory for us, the simple thing is we have a board as we see on the screen. So this is from the ancient India board. Just try to zoom in and see if it, yeah. So, yeah. So you try to climb the board by throwing the, rolling the dice. And if you are bitten by the snake, you go back to its tail. So that's what the game is about. So while well, I thought, okay, I mean, uh, can I write something? I mean, uh, something quickly in Qt. Can Qt be helpful? It will also help me to learn the animation framework as well. So, so this is the first part of the video uh, where I am attempting to make uh, snakes and ladder games, uh, a graphical snakes and ladders, I should add, and not a console-based one, because I was uh, looking on the YouTube videos. Most of the game seems to be uh, written in console based games. I mean, uh, I thought maybe, okay, let's take it as a challenge and let's make it as a graphical game. Can I implement something graphically? So I will show you what I have done in about a day's work. I started this morning. So yeah, so should be very interesting. So let me show you the code. I mean, before showing the code, let me run that. So here it is. So. Here is my snakes and ladders board. So this is actually a vector image or image basically, which I took it from a website free pick. I think it is free pick.com. I believe I'll put the link in the description. So I took the board design from there and this is a QT's uh, form QT's window and to animate on it so here we have the typical board here although this board may not be the one which may make it into my final version i'm just in the process of writing it so maybe those of you who are interested to uh, find out how this is written or if it is of any interest to you what actually is going on and uh, what i'm up to you can have a watch uh, you can look at this video and see if it if in, interests you in any way and at the bottom of the of this game board so you have this uh, uh, comical knight k n i g h t knight a warrior a knight prince so who is just walking along the screen so eventually the idea would be that uh, i'll have some kind of a animation here with a dice you should be able to click the dice and whatever the dice uh, uh, gives you the number this knight will walk across the board and if he has to climb he will do the climbing if he is bitten by the snake he'll come back again to the tail position and uh, so on and so forth so as you can see 
I have was successful in making a basic animation here. So this, as I said, this is just a work in progress. I was also designing things, learning the snakes and the ladders theory. People use uh, graph theories and BFS algorithm and all those kind of thing. But in my case, it is uh, mostly about the animation part of it rather than the algorithm part of it because we are not computing any shortest routes or shortest paths as I will explain in my future videos. Um, in my case, the game is mostly about uh, how, uh, I mean, whether the animations are nice and whether it can uh, keep the user entertained. And uh, currently, I plan to make it only as a single level game. But hopefully in the future, rather than using a predefined image from the website, uh, if you have seen my previous videos, we draw, we use our own drawing using QPainter. So the idea would be to rather than taking a PNG image, we can draw our own board with the ladders and the snakes placed uh, randomly according to the different levels. So this will also keep the user entertained because now as you can see, this is a fixed board. So the snake bite uh, is at 17. What if I, for example, in the next level or in a completely random model, uh, the snake bite should be, for example, at 13, for example, something of that nature. So that uh, keeps the game entertaining as well. And uh, yeah, so that is on cards. So what, as I said, this is just the first version or this is just the initial start. And uh, yeah, so as I said, so there are two buttons here, a new game and quit. And here eventually I have, I will have some kind of an animation here and maybe a score. Right. So what exactly did I had to do? What kind of code I had to write and uh, what's behind all this? So let me show you the code. I will close this now. Right. So, so I'm using a Q graphics scene. That's the QT class which I'm planning, uh, which I'm going to use. I will just uh, Google for it. Q graphics scene. That's the class which I'm using. Let's zoom in here. So this is a class for managing large number of 2D graphical items. You can browse through the QT's documentation to see what this class does. But uh, just in simple words, it's a mechanism, QT's mechanism to let you uh, draw and manage items uh, which you which gets drawn on the screen. So you, it keeps all the it keeps all the tabs for you in this class. So whatever you are drawing on the screen and whatever you even you are, which you are not drawing on which what needs to be displayed and what mm, what should not be displayed is managed by this class. So I am using the QT's Q graphics view and Q graphics scene these two classes. So have a read through if it is of any interest to you. That is what I am using in this uh, class now and all it does for now is and uh, what what about the the cute uh, prints that image so those are just uh, png files so in this case it was just doing a walk so that's this is the image which i again got from a website so it's like a sprite animation i think that's the right word a series of image in my case those are 10 images so when you see the prince walking, so it is basically 10 images uh, being played and that's he's walking from uh, one spot to the other. And I think that's I made it every 30 milliseconds, every 100 milliseconds or so. Let me show you. Yeah, here it is. So every 100 milliseconds, I update the image. So it appears as if it is animating and yeah, so I hope it's not too technical. I'm sure it's easier to understand that. Yeah, we play different kind of images and they appear as if there is a motion happening from one spot to the other. That's the idea behind this animation here. And 
and there are other uh, animation images as well so if the prince dies something we will be displaying this if he is bitten by the snake basically so that is all work in progress i am just showing you what i am uh, i am up to so this i am focusing on the user interface part and the entertaining part and once i have this in place then i will work on the logic and uh, algorithm part if there is any special algorithms uh, to be taken care of so as far as the images goes it's stored in the resource file and the scene is uh, just simple uh, we override the scenes draw background method and in that we just draw the board so what exactly is the board here so let's see the board as well so board is just an image a png file so that's what it is here uh, board is just a png file and in the draw foreground method that's where i draw the cute prince the knight and uh, yeah one interesting thing which i wanted to point point out was so currently as you see the prince has to walk from 1 to 10 so the movement i mean the uh, the direction of the movement is from left to right but uh, when he would climb to say 11 to 20 then the direction will change well what do we do then i mean uh, so I, I was thinking on that kind of a problem so then i realized we can uh, draw a mirror image as well so uh, let me show you that i will close this and i'll uncomment the mirror image part so what happens is we can draw a mirror image as well so as you can see if you see here now that it's the same image but it's being drawn he's the the prince uh, the knight is walking on the other side now he is walking from uh, right to left so these are the small techniques which we'll have to care about and which we'll have to think so if he's on the first row he has to walk from uh, left to right but when he is on the second row for example the direction should be right to left and when he has to climb between 10 to 11 uh, there should be a climbing animation between these two and again for example when he is on number 9 he has to climb the ladder again the animation should depict that and again once he is bitten on by the snake for example on the 17 there should be an animation which he dies and or, or he comes back to 7 so something has to be, I mean, all those small, small details have to be taken care of. But I think that is what makes a game interesting and playable again and again. And if we add some levels concept to it, I think it should be an entertaining stuff. So, yeah, this was just a short video. And uh, to keep my to keep my channel updated as to what I am up to. So thank you very much for watching and uh, supporting my channel. I will uh, see you shortly in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.